I got involved in technology as a business starting in around 1991 when it wasn't called Infotech. Obviously there was publishing companies and all sorts of information, database providers, information providers of all sorts, and there were technology companies, software companies, hardware companies, and obviously in the 90s all that began to merge into Infotech. And um, everyone thinks they've seen it and done it before, but I've been around long enough and I certainly have predecessors who have been there longer and seen more of this extraordinary evolution that we've experienced. Um, and um, one of the things I love about this whole education business is that communicating ideas is fantastic. Communicating things that have been done before but are being done differently now is almost even sometimes better because you get a perspective and a context on what was and what were the limitations that existed before and what is now and what are the potential and possibilities of the future and obviously each age will have its own look back and say wow I can't believe we did it that way then and so for any of you who have had any history of companies and businesses in the technology arena you've seen that a lot of it's come before but now with some incredible tools the evolution of the change is occurring at meteoric speeds Again, meteoric is relative to the time we live in, and as machine learning and artificial intelligence and algorithms that are writing themselves begin to take hold, I think the speed will be faster. Obviously, there'll be more to manage in terms of strategically. How do you manage an algorithm that's writing itself and writing itself maybe in a way that we don't necessarily think is the way it should be written? So I think that there are times we're living in are exciting. I'm excited to hear and see tens of thousands of people literally coming to visit our portal, participating in getting involved, staying involved. I do this little bit of an intro to our programs so that you get a sense of what I'm about and what we're about and more importantly we need to understand what you're about. What are you looking for? What are we doing that isn't right? Meaning you don't understand why we're doing it. Well, maybe it's right, maybe it's wrong, but we're looking for your feedback. So give us feedback, tell us what you're looking more for. Uh, there may be areas of agility and um, Scrum and Kanban that we really haven't touched on that you say, look, I really need that because if I'm gonna be effective at my role, I need to understand that. If I'm gonna be effective as a tester, as a developer, as an administrator, or as a business person touching the tech world, I need to understand this stuff. So let us know, get on the chat, let us know. Send us an email, you can always link in to me on uh, LinkedIn as well. I'm eager to meet more people, eager to spread, spread my network and hopefully help you in yours. I think that this education world is exciting because it never changes, it never gets dull, and it's great because you can pass on your knowledge to others. I'm going to take you on a little tour of our platform because we have a few minutes before the course starts so you get a sense of what it's all about and what happens when you dig in. A live education is engaging. It's that learning, doing, connecting components that we mentioned before. Domain-focused, extensive online content, interaction by challenges, labs, case studies, teamwork, and getting connected with others through Slack channels or other means of communications. Instructors love showing you what to do, how things are done, asking you questions, and getting your involvement. Tools and techniques are a vital part of any educational experience. Instructors can explain things as no others. Learning by their explanations is an essential part of the experience. Slack and other communication channels are important because you get involved in teams with casework. I think of education as being a combination of practically oriented and academically rigorous. I often call it pracademic education. When you jump onto our platform, you'll see my courses, and all the details that you want to get into, including a specific course that is of interest. Click on that course, and it will launch in your browser. On the left side, you'll see the name of the course, the percentage you've completed, and you can search anywhere within the lesson. If you look on the left side, you'll see the various navigational elements, including a welcome section, a communication section, and the various modules that the program has, depending on how many it has, obviously we'll list the number of modules. You'll see quizzes at the end, labs, and a final exam. If you go back to the top, you can page through what the course is all about in the welcome section, including an introduction and overview, 
what you learn upon completing of the course, who should enroll in the course, what are the prerequisites, and how to get in touch with us. You'll see instructor bios, pointers for success. Of course, you'll be able to jump into the Slack channel, and then, of course, any of the modules within the course. Typically, a course has a focus and objective section, which outlines the details for that module, the readings, lessons that are videos, as well as interactive exercises. In the days and weeks ahead, you'll see extensive enhancements to our platform, which focuses on the learning, doing, and connecting that we've discussed. One of the really important things that we do is something called Tech Bytes, which gets you actively involved in all sorts of leading edge things that are going on in the market today. Not sure how to reach us? Simply ask Dr. Google. Look at Star Weaver Live, Star Weaver Training, and you'll find us. Live learning isn't salesmanship, branding, or spin. It's the science of getting people to learn. Come join us.